Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a fundamental difference between combination loops and latches. Although in our previous video, we have discussed in great depth about the combination loops and latches. And I mentioned that why should we avoid combination loops and latches inside our design. Friends, in both latches and combination loops, output of a combination logic is fed back to its input. But still, the way synthesizer treats latches is quite different from the way it treats combination loops. And now without wasting much time, let us get started and see what is the difference, what is the fundamental difference between both of them with respect to the synthesizer. Friends, not only this, I will show you with the help of Vivado synthesizer that how it treats combination loops and latches. It considers combination loops as very dangerous. It should not be available inside our design at any cost. But in some other designs, latches are intentionally introduced. Let us discuss latch first. Friends, a latch is inferred when a else statement or k statements in a k statement are missed. Here in this first example, else statement is missed. And in this case, some cases are missed in a k statement. Here in the missed statements, synthesizer assumes that output should hold its previous value. So in those cases, where synthesizer assumes that output value should be retained, their latches are inferred. Let me repeat friends, where the output value can restore its previous value, then a latch is inferred. Friends, as we have discussed multiple times in our previous videos, for an if else statement, a synthesizer will implement 2h21 multiplexer. Here if select line is 0, then y should be equal to i0. So this is when select line is equal to 0, i0 will be passed to y. Now if select line is 1, then y should retain its previous value. And similarly, the same logic is invoked when we use this case statement. But friends, a synthesizer will not implement a latch with the help of 2H21 multiplexer having a feedback because it is not very much timing efficient. And instead of implementing a latch like this, synthesizer try to take already available latches inside the FPGAs. And for ASIC designs, it tries to take the latches available in the ASIC libraries. Now let me show you practically. If I wrote this type of RTL code, how Vivado synthesizer implements a latch. Friends, I have taken this code in Vivado and I have launched a bitstream generation. In bitstream generation, it will cover synthesis as well as placement and routing. After placement and routing, we will see how this Vivado implements this latch logic. Friends, you can see very clearly that after the synthesis stage, it is giving warning that inferring a latch for a variable y. Now, next we need to see after implementation, what component it is using to implement this latch. Friends, here I opened our design after implementation, that is after placement and routing. And it is using a dedicated component, which is already available inside the FPGA called LDCE for the implementation of our latch. Now let me show you where it is located inside the FPGA. Let me mark it. Let us mark it as red. And then here I am going to the device view. This component is located somewhere here. Let, let us zoom this area. See, this is a dedicated component. It is not implementing with the help of multiplexer. Though there are a lot of discrete 2 h one multiplexers available inside the FPGA, but it is not using those multiplexers, but it is implementing with the help of a dedicated latch. Friends, now let me discuss how combination loops got inferred inside our design. Let me take very simple example so that you can correlate it with our previous example where latch was introduced. I have introduced an else statement and I have written y is equal to not of y. Now how this will be implemented? If select line is equal to 0, y should get the value of i0 just like in the previous example. Else, when select line is 1, y should get the negative of its previous value. So here not get will be introduced. 
this not gate is the only difference in the previous example and in this example friends one thing is common between the latch and the combination loop output value is feedback to the input but in the latch the output value retain its previous value and in the combination loops the output does not retain its previous value but there will be some logic in this example i am putting not gate so in this case the synthesizer will not use a dedicated latch is available inside the fpgas or in the asic libraries it will implement just like this with the help of 2s to 1 multiplexer and a not gate friends just for your information this combination loops are very dangerous because they cause a race condition now just assume that the output value of this y is 0 at one particular point of time and select line is 1 so negative of this y will be 1 so 1 will be passed after the delay of this multiplexer let us say its delay is few picoseconds and after few picosecond this value will become 1 now when this value is 1 this 1 will be passed to this not gate and output of this not gate will be 0 so after the propagation delay of this multiplexer i will get 0 here and it will keep on repeating just after the delay of this multiplexer our value of y is toggling infinitely long so the behavior of our design is not predictable here that is why some of the tools throw critical warning when a combination loop loop is inferred and some of the tools gives you an error that a combination loop is inferred now if you want to demote it to warning then you have to write some constraints but on the other hand for a latch tool may give a simple warning or a critical warning because latches are introduced intentionally in some of the design friends now i have changed our code and i have introduced a else statement where y is equal to not of y so that our code should generate a combination loop and now i am going to generate the bit stream so that it should go through the synthesis and placement and routing stage friends for this logic vivado is giving an error that a combination loop alert one lut cell form a combination loop and this can create a race condition timing analysis may not be accurate but in case of latch it was just giving a simple warning but here it is also saying that if this combination loop is intentionally introduced then you can set this property allow combination loops true and it is asking us to evaluate our design friend despite the error message i have opened the implemented design and it has tried to implement our design in such a way it is using two lut's lut2 and lut3 now let me mark both of them let us mark one of them in pink and another one as yellow now i'm going to the device view device view let us zoom this area friends this is slice and inside the slice it is using two lut's to implement it lut is nothing but a combination logic so it is not using the dedicated latch which is available here and just for our understanding it is also not utilizing 2h to 1 multiplexers instead of that it is using lut's friends from the above discussion it is clear that a synthesizer takes a latch and combination loop separately and for a latch it tries to use dedicated latches available inside the fpgas or in the asic libraries and for a combination loop it tries to use discrete components like lut's or 2h to 1 multiplexers available inside the fpgas and for a latch it simply gives a warning and for a combination loop it considers it as a very dangerous one because it can cause race condition friends with this i am going to end this session and i hope that this would be quite informative for all of you and in future also we are going to create many such videos so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching